Hi, my name is Mike Nye. After a stint as a cadet, I joined the Mac Volunteer Fire Department as a volunteer firefighter in 1980, assigned to the Monfort Heights Station. In 1982, I was hired as a full-time firefighter and promoted to lieutenant in 1999. I retired in 2017 after a happy 37-year career in the fire service. One of my responsibilities was communications and radios. I'm here now to share with you a piece of communications history for the Mac Volunteer Fire Department. This building served as Mac Volunteer Fire Department Station 1, which was the headquarters station. It remained fire headquarters through 1983 when the fire department transitioned to the Green Township Mac Fire Department and up until 1992 when fire headquarters was moved into the new Green Township Administration Complex. One of the important functions that this building housed until 1980 was the communication system for the Mac Volunteer Fire Department. In 1980, Dispatch services were moved to the Hamilton County Communications Center where they remain to this day. You can still see the tower from the old radio system remains on top of the building. At one time, that tower also held the roof siren that alerted volunteers of a run if they did not have access to a pager or an alert receiver also known by its name brand of Plectron. At night, assigned members would have sleep out duty where they would stay at this station to answer emergency calls and dispatch units, as well as recording status changes for those runs. There were remote control stations set up in a few members' homes. During daylight hours, the wives of those members, members of the ladies' auxiliary, shared dispatching duties while many of the volunteer firefighters were at work. It was a unique system with some fun idiosyncrasies. For instance, at certain times of the year, the channel used by Mac would hear radio traffic from California as well as we heard our own radio traffic. We also shared a radio channel with Marymont Fire Department, who would run a test every night and announce their squad crew on duty. Who can forget Beresford, Beresford, and Schwarmstead? For most of that time period, there were only two Mac stations, this one and the Monfort Heights Station, Station 2. Station 3 in Covedale came along toward the end of the period. Each of the two original stations had a unique tone that was sent over the radio to activate the pagers and plectrons for members of that station without disturbing members of the other station. Each station had a tone for an EMS run. The same tone with an additional tone, also known by some as the dip, signaled a fire run for that station. The dip is what actually activated the roof siren of the affected station. This meant there were four tones regularly used for dispatching runs. Well, fans of the Mac Volunteer Fire Department, I'm happy to report that we can now bring you this part of your history. We knew at some point we'd find an appropriate way to bring this back to you. The original tone generator, a Plectron G8, has been in storage since the communications room was disassembled over 35 years ago. So without further ado, here's the device that woke so many of you from a sound sleep on a cold winter's night. You can see the main unit with the cable that leads to the control head. Here you can see the markings to indicate what tones are assigned to each button. What's the best part, you might ask? Well, this puppy still works. And we're gonna show you. This might just get your pulse up, just like the old days. Here's the Station One squad tone. Now here's the Station Two squad tone. Remember earlier in this story I mentioned the dip that activated roof sirens. Now we'll send the fire tones and you will hear the difference. Here's the Station 1 fire tone. And now here's the Station 2 fire tone.
In some ways, the alerting systems in use today are still similar to what we've just shown you from 40 years ago, although other systems now supplement the tried and true tone alerting. I hope you've enjoyed this look back at some of our early communications technology, KBZ 422.